our people are out here oppressed and spoiled. Oppressed by the situation of not having a job. Oppressed by not having money. Therefore, we're out here trying to sell drugs to one another. Therefore, we're out here drinking in the middle of the day just to get some kind of ease for all the hell we go through in our own home environment. Called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans a true identity according to the Bible. Right. Give me Isaiah 58 and verse 1. Because we've been out here all day. We're trying, at ease, brothers, at ease. We're trying to give our people the truth according to the Bible. Right. The men you see before you are the prophets of the Most High God, and we're going to do thus saith the Lord. Right. And we're going to show you how we're doing that. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1 Cry aloud Spare not Lift up thy voice like a trumpet And show my people Their transgressions So the Bible says cry aloud We're going to use our voice To give you a message Read on Start over again. Cry aloud So we're giving you an important message today Read on Spare not uh -huh. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So as we lift up our voice, we're going to show you the important message. Read. And show my people. All people. My people. So God is giving us the important message that we should show our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, what? Their transgression. So we're going to have to show you why we're in this state. Right. We're going to have to show you why we have to fix where we are. Right. And read on. And the house of Jacob, their sins. So his people hey. are in the midst Turn of sin, and we're going to have to show them Turn what that is. Right. We're not sent out here to go to everybody. We didn't choose to go to the suburbs to go preach this message. We came to the chief places of concourse, which are where our people are. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. When we look at these conditions, you can see the curses written on our people. Right. Matter of fact, give me that in Deuteronomy uh, 28, verse 34. Give me that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 34. The curses are written all over our people. The scripture says that it'll be a sign and a wonder, but we're going to show you another curse that we're seeing right now. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes. So the things that we're seeing in our communities, we should be upset with. We right. should be very upset with it. How can our people, knowing that we're the greatest people that the Bible speaks of, be in these situations, these circumstances? Let's look at some of these circumstances. Go to verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Right now we're in the midst of the city at the bus stop. Right. And all we see is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans sitting right here. The curses are right in front of us. Right. We are cursed in the city. We look at the news every day seeing our brothers getting shot down. And the reasons why our people are cursed in the city is because we are not following the laws of the Most High God. If we come back to the laws of the Most High God, we won't have to be in these situations. Right. But the scripture says what? Well, read it from the top. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So cursed are we in the city. Where else? And cursed shall thou be in the field. We are also cursed in the field. Now these signs that are in front of you are showing us that we were once in slavery. South Carolina was the main industry of rice, indigo, all these things. So we were cursed in those fields. But most of our people right now are on these street corners because they are cursed in the field of the workplace. And the Bible has already proclaimed that. These are the words that Moses spake to all Israel. Right. So if we don't look to this Bible to help us, we're going to continue to stay in this estate, which is a low one. It is low. We have to get out of this by keeping the laws of God. Right. Did you have a question, brother? All right, I thought that brother right there had a question. But we have to come back to the laws of God. Go to uh, verse 29. Verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday 
as the blind groping in darkness. So what that means is we're out here searching for different things. We had a brother come up and say he was the truth. He, he was, uh, uh, his name was Freedom. He was in search of the truth. Right now we're in more than search of the truth. The truth of this Bible is the laws. But right. because we're not keeping them, we are lost. We are lost. So we are groping at noonday for whatever it is, whether it be drugs, whether it be a woman, all these things have us groping. We're searching for something, and we're not finding it. That's why we always in the chief places of concourse, selling drugs to one another. We are the law of state. The only way to get out of that is to keep the laws of God. Right. Read on. Thou shalt, and thou shalt go back noonday as the blind groping in darkness, Read on. and thou shalt not prosper in thy way. So while we're out here searching for whatever it is we're in search of, the Bible says we will not prosper in these ways. The thing is, and it's going to even tell you while we're out here searching for these things. Read on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. So as we're on these street corners, our people are spoiled and oppressed. If you look at these street corners, our people are spoiled and oppressed. Right. Islam has not helped our people. Right. Egyptology has not helped our people. Our people are out here oppressed and spoiled. Yeah, oppressed right. by the situation of not having a job, oppressed by not having money. Right. Therefore, we're out here trying to sell drugs to one another. Therefore, we're out here drinking in the middle of the day just to get some kind of ease for all the hell we going through in our all-home environment. Right. But the Bible has already expressed why we going through this. We have sinned against the Most High God who chose us to be his special people. Right. When I see brothers with cigarettes in their hands, I see depression. I see it. That's what that means. I see it written on our people. And we're spoiled because we don't know who we are. That's the internal thing, to be spoiled. My brother right here, let me ask you a question. Would you drink spoiled milk? Why? C come deal with me, brother. It'll get you sick, right? So to be a people, to be a people spoiled, are we any good? Can we serve the Most High God if we're spoiled people? Our mind, our mind won't be on that. Our mind will not be on it, right. So, matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because, brother, I want you to look at this sign right here. Where do you see yourself on the sign? You're going to be able to identify with these names because that's what has oppressed us for so long. What, what name uh, 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 that was given to you by your oppressor do you see? And uh, which one are you? You are American black. But guess what? On the other side of that, is what God calls you. Right. So when you come back to keeping his laws, you're going to be known as Judah. Right. Do you realize that is the, the lineage of Christ himself, the black Messiah? That's right. Do you realize that? So now, we're going, now that you know that you are not an African American or American black, you know that you're from the tribe of what? You're from the tribe of Judah. Watch this. Yeah, that is the, that's why I said it was the name given to you by your oppressor. We are oppressed and spoiled. Right. Once the external, once the people from the outside have made us conform to their ways, now we're spoiled on the inside because we're doing what they want us to do, not what God asked us to do. So Christmas is something they told us to do. Thanksgiving, Easter, all these holidays are how our so-called enemies, matter of fact, do you know who your enemies are? Who came and oppressed? Who did this to us? The white man. Thank you. The so-called white man. The Bible calls him Esau. Right. You understand that? So we are we're oppressed like this. He put us in the shackles, put the yoke of iron on our neck, and then we were spoiled ourselves. Because once he took it off, he said, these niggas ain't going nowhere. Right. They're going to do what I want them to do. Do you understand that? What did I have you order? Now that you know you, Israel, let's see what God tells you to do. Now that you know you, Judah. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel. Now, what's your name, brother? What's your your name? Terrence. The Bible is talking to you, Terrence. The Bible, read that again. And now Israel. The Bible says, and now Terrence, read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Now that you know you Judah, Terrence, God is asking you to do something. And he means business when he asks you to do it. 
Because you can't be spoiled and be a servant of God at the same time. You can't. Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. So when you hear the, the words of the Lord God, you should fear them. You should know that they are true. All these things that you see on these signs have already happened. They were written in the words of God. That he's giving us reason to fear him. But he's telling you, these things I did because I loved you so much and you went away from me. So I got to punish you. You are my children. Right. When you say, brother, when you say generational curses, I'm going to show you that in the Bible. I'm glad you said that. We're going to come right back to do Go to... Go to Deuteronomy 28:46. The the Bible is the Bible is what it is. It's gonna prove itself. You understand? These things right here that you see on these signs were curses. Now watch what the Bible because you just said generational curses, right? So it doesn't just stay with the people who committed the sin, does it? It falls on everybody who are in that lineage, right? right? Give me that 45. Start at verse 45. I need you to listen up, Terrence. Listen up. Because the Bible is talking to you. A man's going to the Lord. So when you walk up here today, you are supposed to get a word and you are supposed to change today. Do you understand that? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses these things you see on the sign, Terrence, are curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said, these curses are going to come upon thee and pursue thee. So you're going to try to go somewhere else and they're going to follow behind you. So no matter where the blacks and Hispanics are today, these curses are following us. Read. And overtake thee. So like you just said, that shadow, it's going to overtake us, right? Read. Till thou be destroyed. Till we be destroyed. Do you see that, Terrence? Destruction. It, it, it is our destruction. Right. This is when the nation of Israel became destroyed. Okay. As we went into different captivities, we were destroyed. Read. Right. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. All because we didn't want to listen to the voice of the Lord our God. He, he doesn't belong to anybody else, Terrence. And that's what we're trying to get all our people to understand. God only belongs to the so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, oh, but yet right. we will hug up with our enemies and not even love our own brother. Right. That's right. We don't. That's right. To keep his commandments. Because the Bible tells us to trust not our enemy, but yet we will hug up with our enemy and not even listen to our brothers who are trying to help our own brothers get out of these situations. Right. We don't. And his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee. So they, the curses, will be upon us. Read. For a sign and for a wonder. So under these curses, we're going to be able to know that these curses only apply to the children of Israel. So if they went into slavery on ships, they're a child of Israel. Right. You understand? If their children were given to another people as property, they're a child of Israel. If they're serving their enemies... They're Israel. If they are a rebellious nation, they are children of Israel. Watch this, because you said generational curses. We get into that. And upon thy seed. So these curses are going to be upon their children. Read. Forever. Forever. That's the generational curses that you're talking about. The, those are the generational curses. You understand? But come back, Terrence, because we got to still do it. You go back to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because those curses are showing us that we must fear God. Because his word is true. All the prophets that he sent are true prophets. They gave us the word. Now, either we were going to hear it or forbear it. Read on. Read uh, verse 12 again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. Now, Terrence, this is talking to you. Read. What did the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. Because these curses came upon us, right? We don't. To walk in all his way. Now these laws that he gave us to begin with that we did not follow, that made these curses come upon us, you got to go back to that now, Terrence. Read. And to love him. At you right, Terrence. Read that part again. And to love him. That's how you love God. Because you say we, we, we can't get out of this situation by ourselves. We got to love our brother enough to tell our brother what he's doing wrong. Right. That's why we're out here. To show the house of Jacob, the children of Israel, their sins. 
Right. We love the Lord our God, but we got to love our brother first for God to listen to us. Right. Read. Right. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart. So we got to serve him with all our heart, with everything that we possess. Read. And with all thy soul uh -huh. to keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. What did God give us to do? To keep the commandments. Now, I got to give you commandments. I got to give you commandments. Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. You mean, because without these commandments, we can't get out of this captivity. We're headed for, we're already destroyed. Right. If you look at this street corner, we're already destroyed. But if these people who are who Christ came to save and give repentance come back to these laws, then we will get out of this destroyed state. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.